Right. Um, use cases. I mean, like this is this is primarily what AEC is using using drones for. I don't think we need to like harp on it too much. Uh, it, I've done things in the past where it's like public safety and how they're using drones, and it's like what are they not using drones for? And you can list them all, but there's the the point is is that drones are so versatile that even when we're talking about industries, then you could break it down into specific mission types and the the possibilities are endless and i think that um i use dr ian kerr uh who did snotbot and also did uh clearbot who was getting temperature readings and collecting uh snot samples from whales with drones that it's like how do you how do you list that as a use case uh it's within wildlife uh wildlife and conservation but it's also like you're collecting whale snot in a petri dish and so just it, it takes the imagination of anyone within these industries that knows the problem to solve that puts a drone out there to to do so i'm sure you've seen a ton of really interesting stuff over your years uh in the drone industry anything yeah. else you want to add to this sure i mean it's dozens of new use cases for drones are getting looked at every day um coming from the ag industry of course there was that easy use case of i want to be able to fly my field and know where the problem areas are but then you get the really wacky questions, you know, being able to fly over and understand where all of my cattle are, being able to count all of the hay bales that are out there that I need to go collect. Like you, until you're really enveloped into the industry, it seems like they're, the people that are can just keep coming up with, oh, hey, this would be a perfect use case to having a flying gimbalized camera. Cause that's essentially what we're trying to commoditize, commoditize here. Um, with specifically within the construction industry, it does seem like, you know, Earthworks was that first easy check mark because we can create elevation models pretty easily, even back in 2015, 16. But now mm -hmm. as we focus on building vertically and getting those as applied and building better 3D models and being able to capture better uh, 3D models, that has really progressed over the past couple of years, going from earthworks to give, covering the entire job site timeline. Right. Yeah. And I remember when I first heard the use case of like watching concrete cooling before that they build the next layer, they need, they'll just fly above with thermal imaging and make sure that it's cured. But there was no other way to really get that information. Somebody would just kind of, uh, you know i check it or walk around with a thermometer it. and try to poke it in yeah <laughs> exactly and so like these are things that you don't really think about but i remember it was a guy from semex i was uh working doing some stuff with 3dr at the time and like that was now in my brain construction starts at the foundation and they're already using drones from the earthworks and preparing the land to the first time that they're laying the the foundation of that building all the way up uh till it's finished until completion and so uh, drones are on job sites all the time and I think that unless you're in the construction space you don't see them because you're not it, hanging around places in which uh, these these sites are going or these buildings are going up but know uh, that this is just another place where drones are are instrumental and irreplaceable at this point in the in the uh, workspace.